Oh man, Mark is gone. Yuki's gone. Let's go, let's go, Mark is gone. My Yuki's gone. <laughs> Yikes, there's a lot to unpack there. Guys, welcome on in. Kiro's here, and we're going to talk about how the collab is now officially canceled and how it's both a good thing and a bad thing, and where do we go from here. Uh, so there's a lot to unpack here. So if you guys can, hit that like and subscribe. Check out the Tower Fantasy playlist, and let's get started. All right, to kick things off, I just want to talk about this tweet. So they finally came out with a tweet with some of our most popular questions. Future Curios. Hey guys, Future Kuros here, and just quickly, the hits just do not stop. While I was recording this video, we got a screenshot of a banner or a subway, something. I don't know what it is, but it looks like the official drop date is 1020. That's October 20th, says new version 2.0. Now we'll still have to wait for official word from uh, Tower of Fantasy, but this is pretty concrete evidence. So back to previous Kuros. Now, if we click on this, it does bring them to our official statement. I'm not going to read this whole thing, but I am going to say that this is a good thing by them. They are they are speaking from the heart. Now, uh, Hoda, if you are listening right this second, please, I would love a roadmap. We would all love a roadmap. Even if it's just two banners ahead of schedule, it'd be so nice to know. And there's a couple of things I really uh, like about this is that... Um, uh, do 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 provide you with more comfortable experience yada 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 ambitious goal uh so what they did is that we admit to having an ambitious goal of giving global players the latest game experience by catching up to the progress in cn but what they've uh mentioned is that this has been very hard on free to play players because they're moving a little too quickly so what i do like about this is that i think they're going to increase the amount of stuff we get or at least that's what i'm hoping that they're going to give us maybe double the amount of, of dark crystals, double the amount of the red summons to be able to compensate that move. I'm okay with them moving as fast as they need to, but they can't move very fast without doubling or tripling the resources that we get. Hoda, please, like it's just like you're you're. We all get it. We all love the the dolphins like me or the whales or the 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 low spenders. We love the game. I get it. But um, your free-to-play community is really what bolsters your population. So you need to make sure you do right by them all the time. Now, let's get into the part that they said. Uh, game experience, blah, 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 blah. Do, 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 do. Um, oh, with the mention of TOF's CN version, we want to talk about the collaboration of characters that were frequently discussed in these days. The team really appreciates your enthusiasm about these characters. Unfortunately, the global version is not able to provide these characters due to copyright barriers. Sucks. However, we may work on other collaboration events and characters in the future. I think they need to work on other collaboration events right this second. Like, right this second. They really do. Um, they, they should, there should be a collab in the next month or two, in my opinion, to compensate that. I don't care if they make Yuki again as like full metal alchemist, right? <laughs> I mean, it's lightning, right? Like maybe, I don't know. All right, guys, let's talk about, let's talk about both Mark and Yuki. Um, now a big, uh, a big apology to all the Volt teams out there. Mad salute. Even myself, I was planning to go Volt team. Uh, that was a huge loss to lose uh, Yuki. Now, I know the most optimal team, and we'll talk about that in a second, it doesn't involve Yuki, but uh, she did make the team a lot better and a lot easier um, to uh, build a team around. But let's talk about Mark first. And I am actually very, very thankful that Mark is not here. If we go on over to Mark's page here real quick, you'll see that uh, he was one of the physical characters. Now, we are very hurting on physical characters now without mark in the introduction just like not having yuki for volt there's not a whole lot to physical it actually raises some of the the teams that you have for uh maybe using shiro claudia lira or some of that um i don't think so but we can talk about that in just a second but i do just want to talk about mark and how broken he was and he wasn't broken at his zero star, except his shield was really good, right? He gave you this massive shield, but he was on every team. He was on the Volt team. He was on the Fire team. He was on the, the Frost team. I mean, not really so much Frost, but it is what it is. Um, but really what made him really insane, though, was his three star and his six star. His three star, whenever the shield broke, increases final damage by 35%. 
Now we know that final damage increases your damage a like a ton, like an absolute ton because it comes towards the end of the, the combo chain. But if 35% was just insano, and the fact that you can just proc it over and over again by just juggling those shields was pretty insane though. And then his six star pretty made you unkillable. This is how people got to floor 600 um, and beyond. And it was because of Mark. Mark was allowed all these teams to just do better. They just became better. And um, he, he just was, he was just pretty insane though, in all honesty. Big rip to uh, Mark on Ice, the, the musical. I was really looking forward to that. I mean, in all honesty, Mark and Ice Skates is the funniest thing I have ever seen in my life. Funniest thing I have ever seen in my life. Absolutely amazing. But I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Yuki. Yuki is the one that hurt the most. And now I want to talk a little bit from my heart on this one is that I was a Volt main. I li literally, when we started the game, I knew I was going to be Volt. I just, I loved the Volt. I loved the synergy. I loved Yuki. I loved, um, well, I don't really per se too much like uh, um, TN or Sirius or whatever his new name is, but we'll talk about that in just a second. But I really liked the Nemesis Yuki flex combo. Just absolutely loved it. She had insane shatter. Uh, it, just, it, it just was really good. And she had really good synergy to do damage and to do uh, shield shattering on top of that. Now, do you actually need a shield shatter later on in the game? Maybe we don't know what global is going to do, but uh, the general, the general team composition is always to have a shield shatter unless you can out DPS through it, AKA out whale through it, which we're not really going to focus on that because my guides and my videos are mainly get guided towards uh, free to play. And uh, I love the free to play community. So uh, just to say, do more damage and don't worry about shields. That's just not going to help anyone, right? That's a very bad argument. I'm really sad not to have Yuki. Now, her matrixes were not the best, but just her character design and her kits and her attacking were just very good. And the best part is that it wasn't like it wasn't like Mark where he had to be six star. Uh, ideally, you bring her to about three star to get that increased shatter. But that was it. It was like everything was just icing on the cake with her. And um, I'm just I'm personally going to miss it. But I want to talk a little bit about Volt. Volt got kind of screwed. I feel bad for anyone that pulled Nemesis. Now I pulled Nemesis. I six star Nemesis. And uh, it, it, all my other weapons are around like one star. It did make Volt the new best free to play technically, technically until way later. But it also made Volt one of the weakest per se, unless you can wail on uh, TN or Sirius. So I just want to talk about that real quick. Is that with Yuki off the board, right? She's no longer on the board. We have our uh, general combo, right? So we have, let me see if I can find this. We have our nemesis. I uh, listen. I have too many tiers here. Just use your brain or use your brain power with me. You had nemesis. Nemesis was a staple, and absolutely amazing. And then we previously, uh, we previously ranked. Um, actually, she probably double asked because she's in every team. And then we previously ranked Crow and Samir in the. If I could find some, I'm trying to find these on the fly. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, in, in both the A ranks, or uh, or B to A rank, right? Now they've gotten a little bit more breath of life because you don't have Yuki to replace them. So your Samir and your Crows are going to go a lot farther. So if you did invest in them, I would not feel bad because now they're going to last a lot longer for you. Now we are going to have that Lin Yi that is now super, super important to your Volt team. Absolutely super important to your Volt team. And then you have that Tian Ling that's also in that SS uh, tier. I'm not a big fan of his gameplay. I, I'll be perfectly honest. I'm really not a big fan of his gameplay. And this really kind of turned me off about pursuing Volt any further. Now, luckily, if you did pull Nemesis, Nemesis is good on any team. You could flex her into your fire team. You could flex her into your frost team. You could flex her into your physical team. Uh, maybe not so much the physical team. Well, if you're a healer, you are. Um, but on those other teams to bring just that flex, like double fire doesn't really have the best healer. So you could bring Nemesis and run double fire. And, um, I just, uh, I think that was just a very, I know they couldn't get the contract. It was just such an odd move that, um, I'm feeling a little bummed out. And I, I think, I think there's a lot of people that are also feeling bummed out. I think we can all agree that Mark being off the board was probably the best thing for the game and for the breath and the, 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 
uh, stability of the game. But losing Yuki for your, your Volt team is just... It was too much of a hit, in my opinion. And um, I would be very cautious moving forward on a Volt any further. Now, if, especially if you don't like uh, Sirius's or Tian Ling or however you pronounce that uh, is a play style. But that does make Volt a little bit more free to play friendly. Well, guys, that's really all I've got. Um, this uh, this game is a shock to me. I honestly thought the collab was going to uh, was going to hit us. I, I honestly did. I thought they would work it out. Um, I think they should still partially work it out. But let's take the pros and the cons and uh, let me know in the comments down below. Did this uh, uh, to all my Volt mains out there? Hit me up in the comments. Did this did this uh, demotivate you? Are you are you uh, pissed off like I am? I like I really wanted Yuki. I really wanted Yuki. Uh, feels bad. Anyways, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Come join us on our Twitch.tv channel where I am doing giveaways and a bunch of other things all the time or just acting a fool. And I'll see you next time. Fist bump from me to you.